Guys, it's Ernst. I'm gonna do a quick little tour of my streaming room or my office or my yoga room or my workout room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, take you through, we got our little whiskey bar, little drinks, our, our adult beverages area. We got the uh, Ibanez JS1000 guitar there. Sterling by Music Man JP100D guitar. This is this is my newest guitar. It's my baby. We got the uh, Ibanez RG. It's actually a, a blue flame maple. You can't really tell in this video. I think it's a little bit dark, but uh, I really enjoy that guitar as well. Then a super cheap guitar, just an Ibanez GAX70. And you see the whole room is sort of dampened with sound with studio foam. Uh, I primarily did this because the I have hardwood floors in here and just having this little rug um, doesn't provide enough dampening, especially when I want to talk on stream, scream, or play guitar. Uh, not really enough to dampen all the sound that goes in here. So I made it a little bit quieter by providing some corner units, some base dampeners, and then standard 12-inch pads uh, throughout. It could probably be a lot more dampened, uh, but I like the design of it, and that's what I decided to go with. Uh, for a desk here, we got the uplift sit stand desk. Um, I really enjoy it. I stand all day at work typically, and so coming home and standing, it feels very natural for me. Uh, over here, we got our newest babies. These are the Sennheiser HD 700s. Pick these up with a tax return. We got a little headphone clip on the side here. Keyboard, we got Corsair Strafe with uh, brown switches with O rings. Uh, I hate loud keys, and so putting the O-rings on there allows them to be dampened and not bottom out. We got a Behringer X1204 USB. And going into that is both my stream PC on the right, my game PC on the left, and then a loop right there on uh, channel, what is that, channel four? That is basically a loop from my voice modulator that you see there, which is the TC Helicon Voice Live Play. Next to it, you got my Xbox One Elite controller. That's what I use for playing any sort of uh, controller type games on PC. Then we got the uh, QCK mouse pad with a SteelSeries Rival 300 mouse. Really dig this mouse. I've been uh, on the search for, for mice for quite a while. This one's got a really good weight. It's got a nice ergo shape. It's a little thin, in my opinion, compared to some other mice, but it's got a really nice coating on it uh, that prevents sweating. Provides real nice grip. We'll go over into the monitors here. This one on the left is the 1440p uh, ROG Swift PG279Q. That PG279Q is 100, 165 hertz. It's 144 hertz default, but then it's uh, got an overclock option to 165. 1440p monitor IPS panel. Uh, the one on the right is my old primary monitor. It's a 1080p, 144 hertz, Asus, I think it's a VG278 HE or QE or something like that. But that's my uh, stream PC and uh, spare monitor. A microphone you got here, we got an Electro Voice RE320, a really high-end mic. I, I sort of felt like it fit my voice the best. It's already got a little bit of an EQ to it. I didn't want to uh, do any sort of processing or EQ, uh, so I've just taken this one because it's already got a little bit of EQ on it. We got the uh, C922 webcam that I use as sort of a keyboard mouse cam. Outside of the RE320 goes into the voice modulator that I explained and then underneath the table is a cloud lifter which will boost it into the mixer. Over here we got my primary webcam. This is another new purchase for the tax return. It's a Sony Alpha 5100. It's a 1080p 60 frames per second. It's a mirrorless camera. We got that mounted with an HDMI cord out which goes down to the stream PC. Over here we got our game PC. Game PC is the i7-4770K with a GTX 980 Ti. It's got about a terabyte worth of uh, Samsung solid, straight, solid states in it and 32 gigs of RAM. Underneath here, we got the uh, stream PC kind of sitting on the floor down here. Pretty basic case. It's a, uh, what is it? I think it's a, uh, whatever the 500 series Corsair case is. It's an i7-5820K, allows me to stream in 720p on medium preset or 1080p 60 frames per second 
on the faster preset. Uh, it has a 950 in it. That's basically to help me render some scenes in OBS and also because the X99 doesn't have a built-in or onboard graphics for most motherboards. It's got a pretty standard 250 gig SSD. It's got two capture cards in it. It's got a, a Magwell 4K HDMI capture card, which takes the signal from the 1440p 165 Hertz input through HDMI, downscales it to 1080p 60, and then whether I choose to downscale it again in OBS is my choice. And it's also got an Elgato HD 60 Pro, which takes the signal from the camera and uh, keeps it actually pretty much the same, keeps it raw at 50 megabits per second bitrate encoding with the X264 on the Elgato. And that's what I run for my uh, cap card source for my camera, since uh, the HDMI just doesn't hook directly up. Last little thing is I do have some JBL Studio monitors. These are about, uh, about 10 years old. Finally hooked them up and they basically come directly out of my mixer so I can duplicate the audio. I can either have the studio monitors on or have them off and still have my headphones working. Guys, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, this is my, my little stream room. This is where all the stuff goes down every time we stream. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Talk to you all later.